Hello everyone, in this video just let us just look about what grey code is and how to convert a given binary number into grey code and also a grey code into a binary number. First of all, your first question is, we have a binary code, the computer will understand what is given in the binary code. Why do we need a grey code? The answer to this question is pretty simple. The advantage of grey code is it helps reduce the errors in the programming because due to some noise some data may get misplaced or lost. That is why you, we use error detecting and correction codes. So a parity codes, harming codes, parity check these are all there. For now let us just look about grey code to binary conversions and binary to grey code conversions. First of all, let us consider a given binary. First of all, I'll tell you binary to grey. Before that, let me tell you one speciality of the grey code. In your binary number, you have uh, 0 is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1, right? And 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0, 3 is 0, uh, 0, 1, 1. So, if you are looking at these numbers, there is a change of 1 bit. There is a change of 1 bit from here to here. And from 1 to 2, there is a change of 2 bits. This 0, beca this zero became 1 and this 1 became 0. So between two consecutive numbers, there is a change of more than one bit. But the importance of grey code is, you will have a change of a single bit. Only a single bit will change between two consecutive numbers. I'll just tell you how to convert binary to grey and grey to binary. You check the table, you draw the table for 0 to 9 and then you check it for yourself. So, binary to grey. My given binary number is 1011 one, one is my binary number. I have to convert this into grey code. Right? So, firstly, I will drop the first digit as it is. Drop down the first digit and add this digit to this one. 1 plus 0 will be 1. 0 plus 1 will be 1. 1 plus 1 will be 0. With a 1 carry of course, avoid the carry. Just forget about the carry. When you are converting these, you just forget about the carry. Just don't worry about it. You all know what carry and this thing is. Well, if you don't, just refer, refer, just once refer. I'm telling again, this is your given binary code. Drop the first digit and add the second digit to this and drop. And then add these two digits and drop. And then add these two and drop. Clear? Good. This is the grey code for this binary number. Now let us see how to convert a given grey code into a binary number. This is also involving just simple addition but just in a different way. That's it. Binary to grey and grey to binary conversions are pretty simple. This is binary to grey. Just for just So the given grey code, let the given grey code be 1110. I am taking this one only as example so that I can just exemplify it to you guys. So this grey code only I have taken here. Now if I am converting this into binary, I should get this one. Right? Right. The first digit I will drop. Now what I will do is, I will add this digit to this one. That is, I will add these two. 1 plus 1, 0, with a 1 carry of course, that 1 we are ignoring. 
Now add this 0 and 1, which is 1. Now add this 1 and 0, which is 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. This is the binary code for this gray code or for this gray code. The task is pretty simple. Let me just brush it up to you, brush it for you. First thing is binary to gray. You have a binary number 1011. Right? Thumbs up. Drop the 1. When you are converting binary to gray, add 1 plus 0, which is 1. And then 0 plus 1, which is 1. And 1 plus 1, which is 0. So this is my gray code for this binary code 1011. Now this gray code I am again using it as 110. Drop the first digit and then add this sum which has been obtained. Add this one to the second digit which is 0. Then add 0 to this 1 which is 1 and then add 1 to this 0 which is 1. Add these two. Add these two. I guess you are clear with grey code to binary and binary to grey code uh, conversions. If you have any sort of doubts, just ask.